with the Minnesota Timberwolves shooting guard Joshua Kogi, and today he's going to be participating in Flashback Friday. Being back at your high school today, what is one of your favorite non-basketball memories? Um, for me, one of my favorite non-basketball memories would have to be the hallways, the five minutes you get <laughs> to get to your next class. You know, maybe you have something to tell your friends or, you know, even just seeing your friends, telling them about the new music drop or whatever the case may be. Those five minutes between each class would be my favorite. Get some at the vending machine too. <laughs> so during these five minutes, did you ever stop to talk to any of your favorite girls at Shiloh? Um, I had a lot of favorite. I just wanted. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, I mean, yeah, we. I had a lot of friends. You know, I, uh, Shiloh was filled with a lot of cool people, both boys and girls, and it was just you know fun just to talk to all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Around junior year, I remember the name Big Tom. Big Tom. Yeah. I'm like, who gave this boy the nickname Big Tom? Yeah. Who gave you that? Where did that come from? What's the story behind it? Um, yeah, my uh, actually, it, Coach Rivers gave me that name on my sophomore year. Uh, we were playing Burkmar. They were ranked top three in the state, and uh, we weren't ranked at all. And I hit a um, buzzer beater. I remember, remember that, that game. You go to the floor. I was like, yeah. yeah. When I, after I won that game, Coach gave me the name Big Time. You earned it, for sure. I, I did. You earned it, for sure. What was it like playing against Wheeler in that triple overtime just as a sophomore, and you and the young ones like Malik and Kareem carrying the team? What was that like, especially taking that into your next year for that championship season? It was it was big. Um, we learned so much from that Wheeler game. Uh, to this day, it's still one of my favorite games, although you know we didn't come out with a victory. but. It did, us help, it did help us um, get a lot of momentum going into that next year, which we had a great uh, championship run. But, um, you know, even having guys like Perry, Malik, uh, like you said, Kareem, DJ, having those guys like that to be able to experience a game like that, you know, that next year we knew, okay, there's nothing that, you know, is going to come our way that we haven't seen before. Okay, so we all know that you are a great basketball player here, but... People don't know that you were a scholar here. What was your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite subject was math. Uh, I love math. Math one of those classes I could sleep in, wake up, and do the test, and, 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 and have an A in. I, I, I love math. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm just so technical. I'm so, like, how I think is just so straightforward. So it's like, that just goes well with, with math, so. Wow, okay. So out of all your accomplishments here at Shiloh, what was your favorite, 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 memory on either one of the courts? Um, favorite memory, I would say, would be, dang, it's a lot of moments. <laughs> Anytime we play South and we beat South <laughs> on, sure. on, on the little rivalry night, I think that was, that would count as my, my favorite night. You talking about a rival night, you gotta shout out them Shiloh cheerleaders now. I don't even oh man, them. Shiloh cheerleaders, even from when I was in middle school. It's not, that's how I really knew about Shiloh cheerleaders was in middle school, they, the way they, like everything was so, it was so crazy, especially when we would, when we would win, like let's say we went about like 10 with one minute left, so they all spread out through the bleachers and y'all did a specific cheer. Shalom be on deck, shalom be on deck. Like, um, like, even like with DJ and Pitt, we be dancing on the court, like it, it, it just, man, the cheerleaders gave us so much energy, so much momentum. Okay. Thank you so much for this interview, Josh. I hope you enjoy your time back at your high school. Enjoy watching your old team. And stay tuned for him on December. His season is approaching. Yeah, December 22nd. Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's do it. Let's go.